Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading uh, for the zodiac sign of Cancer. Uh, for the end of your October going into November, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, we are going to take a look at your overall energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. Feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Uh, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright Cancer, let's get started. Overall energies for Cancer. Regarding love and the person that they are connecting with, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the end of October going into November for Cancer. Let's see. and the Eight of Swords. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Could also be Aries in Leo. You might deal, be dealing with a fire sign. You might have fire in your chart too. We have the Nine of Swords and the Death card. So Scorpio energy here. Could it be dealing with the Scorpio? Or you have Scorpio in your chart here. And then the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Could be dealing with another Cancer here. Uh, we have eight, nine, ten of swords here. So, seems as though we have someone here that is having a hard time getting away from someone. Even though someone here is maybe realizing that something is over, something, someone is having a hard time letting this go. Uh, even if even when we have a person here that has betrayed you and stabbed you in the back here. You could be dealing with another water sign here. So it seems like someone here has a hard time letting go or removing themselves from a situation where they are constantly getting hurt by this individual and feeling very alone, feeling breadcrumbed, feeling juggled. So this is some sort of situation where it's gone on a constant loop here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles in the world. Uh, someone here doesn't want to leave because someone here is in love with someone and someone here is seeing someone here as their end-all be-all here, as their emotional fulfillment. The thing is there's no emotional fulfillment here when someone here is feeling stuck, stressed out, and hurt. I'm feeling like someone here didn't envision this when they got into um, this relationship with someone. Uh, it seems like uh, it might be a very young connection here. Uh, you might be dealing with someone who's younger. Um, cancer. The thing is, I feel like both people here might be very immature in regard when it comes to relationships. So let's see. But just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading. Uh, why is this Knight of Wands here? Tell me about this Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands doing here? Alright, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Why is this Eight of Swords here? The Eight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I feel like someone here is trying to break free. If it's a third party situation, if someone else is involved, I feel like someone here is deeply invested into this third party situation. And I feel like someone here has a hard time getting away from it. Someone here just wants to be seen and someone here wants to be valued by someone and someone else is just not doing this. Why is this uh, Nine of Swords here? The Nine of Swords and the King of Cups. 
So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So Cancer, this is you right here. I mean, we have someone here that's incredibly stressed out in regard to this. Why is this Death card here? The Death card and the Seven of Cups. I feel like someone here just doesn't want this to end. I feel like there is a lot of what ifs. What if this person does this? What if this person does that, you know? What if I stick around longer and show this person more love? Maybe this person will change. Uh, sometimes that's not the case. I feel like most of the time that's not the case. Just because you stick around, that doesn't mean the person will change. Personally, I've never seen it. Yeah, Ten of Swords in a Chariot, Cancer Energy. So there you are, Cancer. Like I said, you might be dealing with another Cancer here. Why is this uh, Page of Cups here? Page of Cups in the Justice card here. Uh, so Libra Energy could be dealing with the Libra here. You might have Libra in your chart. Um, I feel like someone here is seeing this connection as the one. This could be a divinely guided connection. I highly, div I feel like it's a, I feel like it's divinely guided in a way where a lesson is supposed to be learned here. Also, I also, I also, I feel like this might be a same sex relationship cancer. Doesn't have to be, but just apply this to your own unique situation. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the person that cancer is dealing with you. What are their true feelings and intentions towards cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the end of October going into November. and the death card again. This is definitely some sort of karmic loop that you've been in with this person for a while here, Cancer. Uh, we have the lovers and the five of swords. I mean, I feel like someone here is really trying to save the relationship and I feel like, some, like someone keeps coming up empty-handed uh, because the five of swords represents empty victories. We have the Hierophant and the Seven of Cups here. Taurus energy could be dealing with a Taurus. You might have Taurus in your chart. We have the uh, World card here on the bottom of the deck. I mean, this is a situation that has pretty much hit a dead end, I feel. But I feel as though, like I said, we have someone here that's trying to hold on to this and sort of hoping for the best, hoping for something to change here. Uh, why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? All right, Wheel of Fortune, and this, this Seven of Cups keeps coming up. So there's a lot of confusion here. There's a lot of delusions or illusions here. Someone here might be delusional, um, but it just seems as though whatever's going on here, this is not changing. Someone keeps trying to save this relationship or trying to save the other person or rescue the other person. But like I said, someone here keeps coming up empty handed. We have the seven of swords here with the death card. Why is this lovers here? The lovers and the uh, queen of pentacles. So we have a king and a queen here. So this queen of pentacles is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So you might be de dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I mean, I'm getting a lot of signs here. Scorpio, uh, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. Ooh, it's five of, okay. Five of swords and the moon. Cancer Pisces energy. Why is this Hierophant here? The Hierophant in the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And why is the Seven of Cups here? The Seven of Cups in the Tower. We have the Six of Swords here and then the Ten of Pentacles. I 
feel like someone here is really trying to move forward here. Move forward and making this happen, even though this is making someone feel alone. Someone is doing this for the name of love, for the sake of love or something like that. I mean, there could be lies and deception here. There could be, you know, dishonesty. Um, there could be a lot of secrets here. Uh, someone here is not really speaking on their feelings or what they're thinking. Uh, the communication is very poor, I would say, on someone's part. It could be one of these. It could be both of you guys'. Um, could also mean that someone here just talks a lot and doesn't really back it up with their actions here. Um, someone here doesn't follow through um, with a lot of promises, I feel, that is causing a lot of problems in your connection. here for cancer regarding their situation, their love situation, uh, for the end of October going into November, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Aries energy could also be Aquarius with the Fool here. The High Priestess in the Moon. Secrets, secrets, secrets. The World and the Eight of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles here. I mean, someone here is figuring out whether to give this person. I mean, someone here is caught in a rock and a hard place with his two of wands here. Someone is wondering if they should stick around or take a leap and just completely end this and not put any more effort that you have already put in. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of secrets here. Just a lot. I mean, we have the moon card here two times. We have the high priestess here. Um, this moon card could be representative of this person not working on uh, something that they've, or they haven't addressed something here that they buried away for a very, very, very long time. Um, it could be a possibility that someone here might be talking to some a therapist or might be looking to talk to a therapist here or a spiritual advisor, something along those lines uh, to get some sort of help or advice here and regarding the situation, the full, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, why is this uh, two of wands here? Two of wands and the King of Pentacles. So we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles. This is a true pair. So this is uh, the King. This is a King that's trying to make some sort of decision regarding um, uh, the person that they love. Uh, this seems like it's a soulmate connection. Like I said, this could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be, but you could apply this to your own unique situation. Why is this High Priestess here? The High Priestess and the Justice card. Why is this Moon card here? The Moon and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so someone here might be coming... I mean, some of these might be receiving downloads from the universe or from your guides or your angels or that there's some sort of truth that's going to come out at some point. There's going to be a conversation about some truths being revealed uh, or that things are going to be made right here. Perhaps the universe is stepping in to help you out or that this universe is trying to shake you that maybe you're wasting your time here with this person. Why is this world here? The world and the queen of cups so we have the king to the queen of cups we have the king to the queen of pentacles so uh true pairs here you guys soul strong soul tie 
Uh, why is this Eight of Pentacles here? And the Eight of Swords. So I feel like this person, this queen here, has a hard time letting this go too. But at the same time, I feel like this person is unable to give you what you want, um, um, Cancer. Uh, it seems like this person's really not putting in the effort here to actually fix things. We have the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups here. Um, I do feel like at some point this person might reunite with you because this person is painfully thinking about you here and missing you perhaps. I mean, this person's eventually gonna come forward. I don't know, I feel like this person is robbing themselves of their healing here too because I feel like this person refuses to do the work here. So yeah, it seems like someone here perhaps is self-sabotaging themselves, sabotaging their relationships. Uh, but we have another person here who's having a hard time leaving this behind. So we have a king and a queen. So uh, place yourself where you, it seems like the, the, the king is the one that's having trouble leaving this, even though all this stuff has transpired here with this queen. So you can feel free to switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped or reverse, okay? Um, so Cancer, I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.